Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric. Attention, Royals fans. This is going to be a preview to the first game of three against the Trial against the Trial Riviere Lions for our Reading Royals. As we head into this game, we're going to take a look at the standings first to see where both of our teams stand. We're in the league. The Royals are seventh in the league at six, two, and three with one shootout loss, of course mixed in there as well, where the Trial Riviere Lions are down at the bottom of the league at four and seven, but have been a competitive game or have been a competitive team, excuse me, um where in a losing effort most of the time, being in the bottom of the league this far and three games below five hundred. But when you look at the numbers, you will see why this team is a competitive game and a team that is able to really play to a very high level with you and be able to stick in the game. But the Reading Royals being the better overall club and one of the better teams in the overall ECHL, as Coach Kirk McDonald has talked about in his post-game pressures, the Reading Royals should be able to be the team that win this hockey game as long as they keep playing their game like they did in the loss even to the Newfoundland Growlers on Saturday and especially in the win they had Sunday against the Admirals, when even with tired legs, they kept him to the outside very well. But on this team, you got to watch Oliver Archambault, their forward who is 5-5, five and five, 5 goals, 5 assists, a points-per-game guy at 10 points in 11 games, pretty much. Peter Abadonato, who has a fun name to say. Justin Ducharme, who has 8 points. And then Anthony Nellis, as well, is St. Amant who I believe, if I remember correctly, did score the last time against us. That just seemed to be ringing a bell in here like he did the last time. And then when it, they, on the defense, they got Oliver Gallipo, who has five points. Charles David Boudin, or Baudoin, excuse me, who has five points. And then they also have Goulame Baudoin, who also has four points for a good a uh, combination there who I believe are the related uh, brothers there. So that's kind of cool for them to play on both teams. I'm sorry if I'm mistaken there, but for some reason in my head, I feel like I remember reading on ECHL, unless if I'm mistaken, that those are related commodities there. And then Mateo Brodeur is a good solid defenseman. And then Dar Derek Lewis Jean is kind of just one of those guys that does all the small things right, never going to get talked about too much because he's doesn't get put on the point sheet as much and all that hubba bubba, but he does all the small things right, just like our wonderful defenseman once picked in the seventh round by our Philadelphia Flyers, David Drake with the Reading Royals. And then in net, it could either be Philip um, De DeRosers, I believe is how you say his name, who has three wins in six games and a 902 with a 303 um, goals against this year. Or it could be Kevin Poulin for them who has been a very solid netminder as well this year. So will they go with DeRosa or Poulin? We're going to have to see. But for our Reading Royals, as we get into them, obviously the most touted, the most dangerous guy on offense this year, when especially Josh Winquist went out with injury. Hopefully, maybe he'll be back tonight. Haven't heard or seen anything on that. But Jacob Pritchard has 12 points, 5 goals, 7 assists. Braden Lowe is playing just like Kirk McDonald said about his line with Pritchard. Low and destroyed. They got big asses that can really get to the net front. Well, that's exactly what that line's doing. All three of those guys are playing tremendously. Winquist before injury is playing well, minus a, a penalty that kind of affected the game the other night. Thomas Ebbing has been playing pretty good. Strong has been a good rookie, and then of course, um, when it comes to defense. We already mentioned the aforementioned David Drake. Patrick Manali has been electric this season. Dominic Cormier is playing a very good game. So those are always the guys we look to most on our defense. And then Hayden Hawkey had a hell of a first game against the Admirals. And he's going to have to be used again of late this week since you have three games. I assume he's going to go on one of them. But Kuro Ustamenko has been absolutely electric, of course. Um, of his last two games after having an off first game, really skewing his stats. But he's been very good in his last two games. They should have won on Saturday. He kept them in the game. And he kept them in the game on Friday that they had a very bad doo-doo middle of that game as well. And then Hayden Hawkey had a very great start, 958-101 after his first game there coming out of Providence College. As, of course, the Flyers organization brought in John Gillies, another goalie out of Providence College. So I believe the Royals play like they played against the last two 
um, games of the weekend against the Growlers on Saturday and against Norfolk Admirals on Sunday. They are definitely going to win this game because Trois Rivière being at the bottom of the league right now, that's because they're competitive in games. But being a new team, they don't have that figuring it out at the end type of game that our Reading Royals do have. And I think that's going to push the Reading Royals over the top in this tilt. So everybody have a great and pleasant day. This has been the latest edition of the Royal Take for my great loyal Reading Royals fans. Love you all out there and love the 158 that have subscribed as far. If you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing on the easy-to-use subscribe button below on the easy-to-use widget up above. Really appreciate you all. And go Royals. Let's start out with a great W this evening. Peace out, everybody.